Thanks, NFL Live here with you, Trey Wingo, along with the Commander-in-Chief, Bill Poley. We know the Giants are going to have a new head coach in 2018, having fired Ben McAdoo. And they've done this uh, a couple of ways in the past. They've tried to bring someone up from their own staff or maybe get a coordinator. You know, we saw the Ray Handley experiment in the 90s. McAdoo came from Green Bay. But they've also gone out there and gotten big names in the past, like Bill Parcells and Tom Coughlin. What do you think they're going to try and do this time around? Well, I, I think a lot of it depends upon who the general manager is. First of all, Ernie Acorsi, who is well-versed in the process Absolutely. and exceedingly well-respected in the organization, is leading the process. So you're going to get the right kinds of candidates and the right kinds of people for what the Giants want. No one knows the, the Giants' DNA better than Ernie. That's number one. Number two, they have since the inception of the George Young era, which goes back a long, long time ago, always been a GM-driven organization. The GM chooses the coach. The GM has the final say on personnel. That's the way it's been done. And so I think for them to deviate from that would be a big surprise. Uh, it's not to say it can't happen, but it would be a big surprise. So if you're looking at a potential GM candidate, uh, whomever it may be, uh, when that guy is chosen, look to the people who are kind of in his orbit. Right. For example, Dave Gettleman. Former his name GM. has come up already. Well, because he worked there for about right. 20 years. Uh, he is the uh, uh, former GM of, and very successful GM of the Carolina Panthers. Although it ended in a strange way. Then. Well, it was a, a personality issue within the organization. But it had nothing to do with football. But a guy named Steve Wilkes is the Carolina Panthers defensive coordinator, right. and he's doing a phenomenal job. So there's an example. you got big names, Jack Fisher. you got a coordinator like Pat Shermer who's done a terrific job and been a head coach before in Cleveland. You have even Spags, right. by the way, who was the heir apparent long ago before he to left to go job. to the Rams. Yeah. yeah. So th there's, this will be an exhaustive search, but I think it's keyed in on who the general manager is. And along that point, uh, President and owner John Mara says they'll start interviewing that general manager job in the next couple of weeks.